How have you been? Very well. How's your vision? Wonderful. More than 16 million people have had LASIK vision correction surgery worldwide, 700,000 a year in the U.S. alone. Karen Garrity is one of them. As I got older, I could not wear my contacts any longer. My eyes got very dry and therefore I was having contact lens issues. The laser-based surgery corrects nearsightedness, farsightedness, and the blurriness of astigmatism. Dr. Marguerite McDonald performed the first laser vision correction in the world on a human in 1987. She says in the early years, the overwhelming number of cases were for nearsightedness, but aging boomers who don't like reading glasses are changing that. As the boomers go into their 50s, farsightedness is increasing, so now there are more and more cases being done for farsightedness. And the patient satisfaction rate is high, so says the first global study of almost 3,000 peer review articles on LASIK. Over 95% of patients from around the world, including the United States, are satisfied with their outcomes after LASIK eye surgery. LASIK surgery is the most popular elective procedure ever. It's also one of the most successful ever studied. It has helped millions of people see better, but it's not for everyone. It's not recommended for teens and young adults still in school. The only reason not to do it on someone younger is that they're still growing and the chance of needing enhancement surgery later, a touch-up surgery, is greater. A small minority of patients have had complications such as dry eye, which doctors say can be treated with medication. Some unsatisfied patients complain of glare and halos at night and may need touch-up surgery. Improved technology is credited with better results. Karen Garrity says she only regrets not having LASIK years ago. Because it's been an amazing, amazing change in my life. Just getting up every morning and being able to see the clock in the morning 